Hi there. And the suspects in this case, according to the LAPD, they got away in a very flashy vehicle, a Rolls Royce SUV. So the LAPD, they want to get the word out there just in case someone was in this area very early this morning and witnessed something. Now take a look. This is video from earlier. This happened around 5 a.m. right here outside the JW Marriott Hotel. Also the Ritz Carlton Hotel and residence in downtown LA. No doubt a very high end part of downtown Los Angeles. Now, as far as the victim, that person has not yet been identified. We know it is a man in his 20s. The coroner left a few hours ago, but at this point, uh, next of kin have not been notified, so the name has not yet been released. Now, this area, and as I'm sure you can imagine, is filled with uh, security cameras, so it's also possible that hotel staff witnessed something. Detectives are now going around gathering that information. The LAPD also looking for three suspects in this case. Uh, and they are described as white or Hispanic men, all three of them. One of them said to be 6'2", average build, armed with a handgun. The second suspect wearing a white shirt, blue pants, and the third suspect also wearing a white shirt and white pants. Officers initially got the call about shots fired in this area. This has not yet been classified as a homicide. When they got here, it was around 5 a.m., and they found the victim on the ground unresponsive. As you can imagine, our detectives have their work cut out today. They will be interviewing whoever, whatever witnesses we have, canvassing any footage. You are in the area near downtown LA Live, so there's plenty of surveillance video and um, footage that our detectives are going to have to canvass through. Yeah, this is a very busy area right off the 110 freeway around LA Live. And this location, uh, this stretch rather of Olympic was closed for several hours, but everything is now back open. And if you have any information, you're urged to contact the LAPD. I'm Lena Braven reporting live in downtown LA, KTLA 5 News.